Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to Nine Miles Addison on TV, Gadget, and Food Review Channel. Today I'm going to review the Shock Flow Air Compressor Portable Tire Inflator 150 PSI 12 volt DC Smart Auto Tire Pump with LED touch screen. And this thing is $59.99 right now on Amazon. And you can also apply a $30 coupon at the time of this video production you can get $30 off the $59.99 price this thing gets five out of five stars with two reviews so not very many uh, but the price is right if it actually works um, this may be something to consider the company sent it over to me so I really appreciate that and yeah so let me just see if there's any info you get the shock flow and air inflator one power cord a storage bag replacement fuse air nozzle one ball needle user manual it's 12 volt dc and yeah let's open it up all right open it up it's definitely more compact and then these are the little attachments if you want to blow up like a basketball or something you can do that yeah the one i have is much larger than this so i would say this one is definitely geared towards people that kind of want something compact that will fit in their car all right so you just plug that in like so this is the plug it's got a long plug which is great and there you go logo on the front all right so let's take it out to the garage and see how this thing works how it performs um, on a tire i read the directions and all you have to do is set it to the desired uh and this is kind of like the last one that i did you set it to the desired psi and it will pump up the tire to that point and then shut off automatically So I'm going to turn this on. Alright, so there we go. I just have to adjust the plug. Okay, so PSI. Set it up PSI. Alright, so what you want to do, it's in the directions, is... So you first turn on the car like I did. It's in the cigarette lighter and then you select the appropriate mode for the five options and adjust the pressure plus or minus buttons, so the PSI, and then you press the play button, there's a little play button here, and then the tire inflator will stop when the desired target pressure is reached, and press the off button to shut down. All right, so you just remove the cap here, kind of screw this in, So the reading actually says 29. I'm gonna show that, actually, yeah, PSI 29. So it's actually higher than the gauge. So this probably is a little bit more accurate, I'm thinking. All right, so let's set it to uh, 32. All right, here we go. Press Actually, now it says 29.5. Okay, so now it's at 30. thirty point five, thirty one, thirty two. 31. 32, should shut off. There we go. That was quick. Check it on the gauge. All right, check out the gauge. So it says about 32. Maybe a little bit above on this one, but close enough. All right, so just for a comparison, let me show you the other one that I bought. This is my personal use one, the one I use when I need to fill up a tire. So actually, let me show that to you. A little similar size, actually. I was gonna say that one's actually smaller, but I would say getting them side by side, they actually look about the same size. This one may be a little bit heavier, though. 
All right, just for fun, I want to fill up this basketball and see if it works. I think that's good. It doesn't take long at all. Yeah, it's much, much better already. This takes literally a couple seconds. All right, so you saw the demo. That was the only tire that needed inflation, and luckily I caught that. Uh, it definitely needed more air. Also with the basketball, it took seconds to inflate the basketball. One thing I do like about this one is just how it's compact. Um, I like the display. Um, it's as quick or maybe even quicker than the other unit that I got. Um, I like how everything just kind of tucks away, like, you know, built in kind of air hose, uh, you know, place to put the air hose, carrying case, all that. So, I mean, in the initial test, I would say the only thing that I ran into, the downside was the plug kind of needed some, you know, you had to kind of push it down. Uh, it didn't connect every single time, so that was one, Thing that I ran into but other than that it was pretty easy I mean very easy I'd say so yeah I would recommend the shock flow especially at the price of like 30 bucks I think uh, I think that's a great price for what you're getting the shock flow air compressor portable a tire inflator 150 psi 12 volt DC um, it's a long title but you get the point I think on this test it did exactly what the company says it would do it did it well. There's no really unexpected things except for the plug. And that could just be my car. The plug kind of needed some, you know, had to push it down a couple times. But other than that, I think it did a good job. And yeah, I'm kind of like, will I continue using this one or will I continue using the other one? Uh, or should I have both? I got to decide that. But you know, as far as this test, I think it did a great job. So thanks for watching my videos, everyone. If you like them, please subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you later.